Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I will perform a binary logistic regression analysis. I have four numeric continuous variables. Perform the analysis. Click on Analysis. Then Regression to Outcomes. Move your dependent variable attrition to here and move all of your numeric variable to covariates like age, distance from home, monthly income. Sorry monthly income and year at the company then come down click on model builder it's okay all of them are block one reference check here we have two type of reference checks attrition yes or no means who experienced attrition or who haven't experienced attrition so it's up to you i check no you can check it yes as well go to assumption checks collinearity statistics then come down to the model fit in the model fit uh select neg negle gerke r square cox and snell r square these are basically pseudo r square we will discuss it uh, later overall model fitness is very important please uh, click on it then click on model coefficients here the most important thing is odds ratio and its confidence interval and omnibus tests then come to the estimated marginal means here uh, nothing to do uh, then come to the prediction yes we need the overall sensitivity speci specificity and overall accuracy of the model and then save so here we want to save the cook distance so we have done with the whole analysis what we need now the interpretation will be started so in order to perform uh, tell you the interpretation let me move this so now first of all r square it's a pseudo r square not the r square as we have explained in the linear or multiple r square it tells us that approximately 9.08 percent variation in the dependent variable attrition has been explained by four predictor that are age distance from home monthly income year at the company further this is also the snell's cox and snell's r scale and it depicts that around 5.46 percent variation has been explained in the dependent variable further the overall model is found to be significant predictor because the p-value is less than 0.01 the omnibus likelihood ratio tests tell us that age and year are the company they are found to be significant predictors because they have p-value is less than 0.05 and we have set over alpha is equal to 0.05 as significance level or cutoff value then the most important thing is model coefficients first of all if we look at the p value so the distance from the home and monthly income both of them are insignificant so no need of any interpretation however if you see the odds ratio of the monthly income is 1 so it means that whether the monthly income increases or decreases is it it hasn't any effect on the attrition further now we'll explain the age so the odds ratio of the age is 1.048 so it means that odds ratio that as the age increases the odds or the likelihood of no attrition occurring is 1.043 times higher than the likelihood of attrition happening similarly if we talk about years at the company that i have written the service length so as the service length increases the year at the company the odds of no attrition occurring is 1.125 times higher than the likelihood of attrition occurring further if we talk about the classification table now it tells us that we have observed that in our data 42 of the participants have observed attrition and the model also predicted the attrition for those 42 participants so the model correctly predicted attrition for 42 participants who experience it further for the 2868 the model also accurately predicted no attrition because here it's no for the 2868 participants who didn't experience it actually so no and no further however the model inaccurately predicted the attrition of nine participants 
who didn't experience it. So you can see it here. Actually, nine of the participants haven't did any attrition and model predicted the attrition for those of them. So here, no has been observed and the model predicted yes. Also, the model also inaccurately predicted the no attrition that 558 participants will not experience attrition who actually did the attrition. And based on, so, 99.7% of the participant prediction has been correctly made by the model. Further, the model accuracy is found to be 0.837 or 83.7 that is found to be quite high. Furthermore, as you can see that for the age, the lower and the upper confidence, 95% confidence interval for the odds ratio, both of them are greater than one. So that's okay. And it please keep in mind that the or the lower and the upper bound of the odd ratio, both of them should be greater than either one or both of them should be less than one for a predictor to be a significant. But in that in this case that you can see distance from the home, the lower confidence interval is less than one and the upper is greater than one. So it is found to be insignificant. Further, I have saved the cook distance data in the Jamovi file. And you can see if I drag it down, all of the cook distances are very small. And the cook distance is used to check equality of the variance or homo homogeneity of the variance. And the cook distance value should be less than 2. So here you can see all of the values are less than 2. You can also check it via descriptive statistics, go to exploration, descriptive statistics, here check the cook distance, move it here and what we need is the statistics, the minimum value of it. So remove all of them, mean, median, just click on the minimum value. So here is the minimum value. So if you can see it here, the minimum is too much less than 3.21 multiple 10 raised to power minus 6. So it, it means that the data has the homogeneity of variance. Lastly, you will have to set one thing while doing the coding that we have, must have only two levels for the dependent variable that may be yes or no. So here, so here I have mentioned this thing that the attribution dependent variable is coded as those who choose yes as one and those who choose no as zero. In my next video, I have added marital status as a categorical predictor as well that has three categories single married and divorced you can also watch that video it's also quite informative and further the report of that video is also available and i will share or the i will interpret the whole report in that video as well thanks a lot for watching the video if you have any question you can contact me via whatsapp or my email i will answer all of your queries as soon as possible have a good day bye